hopefully the direction they're heading in actually suits us because the rain is coming from their tail towards their head. Well, that does appear different in that picture. Maybe the wind's changed. The wind makes it a bit tricky for us when it's rainy because, of course, the wind gets blown in from the side, but it can also help us. And it's been quite a constant, steady downpour. Oh, here it's getting stronger. Oh, epic! Now, I'm sure a lot of you have always wondered what it's like or what the animals get up to when it's raining, and this is the answer. They just sit and wait it out. There's no point hiding under a bush. It's not going to help much. Ah, oh, Beard, you mentioning that your cubs or kittens, I guess your house cats, wouldn't like this, and I'm sure they wouldn't. I'm just have, having to do some running repairs and maintenance here on the old roof. If I hold it out at a bit of an angle, at least the water dripping off the plastic cover on top will keep it off the car. Stunning views. And for now we are lucky. to Krista, you'd like to know if the cheetah will often use rain as an advantageous environment for them to hunt in. And yes, a lot of the predators will use rainy conditions to hunt in, but I've never been lucky enough to follow cheetah <gasps> in the rain. Okay. So, I'm glad you saw that. It indicates that we're in a bit of a state here, but I'm glad we got to show you those few shots of them. The rain is getting a bit harder. Oh, the tutor are moving towards us. She's moving quite insistently. I wonder if she's seen something. I can't, I can't not take you with now. I'm gonna try my best to make a plan to keep us with these cheetah, but we do need to make sure we keep our equipment dry. We've got lots of fancy gear on this vehicle that helps get the broadcast to you. I'm gonna close up this latch. While we all get ready, guys, because I'm battling to keep you guys entertained, um, is actually Manu's done well. We can actually stay here, don't go anywhere. Manu's made a plan. I'm going to jump in and get involved here and help out. There we go. Voila, the next window is open. <laughs> okay, well, the good news is. I can't see any suitable prey for her. All I can see are a few topi. As you can see, there's lots of vehicles out here enjoying the sighting with us. They and their proper cars are probably having a good chuckle at us now. <laughs> but this is all absolutely worth all the jumping to try and keep ourselves dry. Good. So, I wonder what they're going to do next. George, you would like to know if the cheetah would ever jump into the jeep or onto the jeep? And no, it's highly unlikely that normal cheetah would. However, this individual, the mother, actually does. Her name is Malaika and she's got a bit of a reputation for jumping onto the hoods of vehicles and even sometimes the roofs. And it's something that I personally don't think should be tolerated by guides. Of course, it's everybody's dream to have a cheetah jump onto the roof of their car right next to your head as you have poke your head out the sunroof. But of course, it's not really good for, for wild animals to be getting that close to us, especially when they are in the wild. Even though cheetah's got no real threats to us, it could just have, be having a bad head and what happens if it attacks somebody or even just scratch somebody on the face? It wouldn't be very good. So it is something she does, but it's not something that I really approve of. So if I ever saw it coming up to the hood of this vehicle, I'd make sure to chase her off because there is a line that needs to be drawn somewhere in the sand or in today's context, the mud. Let's take a look, they're moving off again. Oh, the vehicle's just driven to a hole nearby, so you may hear a bit of revving as they try and get out. Hello, LK, you'd like to know if these animals will try and seek cover 
and I mean there's just not much cover that's actually worth seeking that is their problem there's nowhere that they can go where they're going to be dry now there's no caves so that would be the only kind of natural dwelling that would keep them dry what a scene this is everyone three cheetah strolling through the Mara in the pouring rain absolutely epic Yes, and Chris, you've just said that you wouldn't mind getting a little bit wet to be able to have the view that we have now, and I couldn't agree with you more. I think it's definitely worth getting wet. I'd be more than happy to be soaked, drenched completely without a towel in order to be able to enjoy this and enjoy this with you guys alongside us.